do need to be very careful because the sharks like to come right at my hands. Hey, look at those teeth. That is not what you want to be greeted by. Oh, he's on top of the rock. Look at that. He is looking so hard. Woo, this one's beautiful, dude. This is a different type of needlefish, I swear. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Before we jump into this one, I gotta give a shout out to Factor for sponsoring today's video. So let me talk to you a little bit more. Today's video is sponsored by Factor right here. Now, I love Factor so much because I'm constantly on the go. I'm a full-time college student and I work full-time, so I'm constantly in between things. I have a very busy schedule, and for me, I will very easily put off a meal. Look at how skinny I am. That's for a reason. I will go out the door without eating, but Factor makes it so much easier for me to get my calories in, get the nutrition in, and uh, you just throw this bad boy in the microwave and you're eating in two minutes, it's awesome. This month you can get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess, and that's one of my favorite things about it all. I don't have to go to the grocery store, I don't have to cut anything, it's very quick and it's very easy. You can even level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by the chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like truffle, butter, asparagus, and broccolini. All right, my two minutes is up. Let me go inside here. Ooh, a little toasty. Oh boy, does that smell good, ladies and gents. I can guarantee you, this is the fastest broccolini cheddar ground beef you will ever get in your whole entire life. Look at that right there, steaming hot. Mmm. All right, let's try it. A little broccoli, a little beef. Give it a quick. So damn good. Mmm. You guys can head to factor.com or click the link down below. Use code FISHGUYJACK50. You'll save 50% off your first factor box. Now let's get back into the video. So now that we're all fueled up from Factor, I'm ready to crush today's video, and we're gonna jump right into it right now. Come take a look inside the pond, ladies and gentlemen. We have everybody swimming around real nice. We got the two sharks right here. Everybody looking good. You guys all know I redid the rock structure a little bit ago, and they already destroyed it. I see the comments down there. I should get some cement rock glue, something like that, and I think that is gonna be my next journey. But I have a whole bag of shrimp right here. Then I'm gonna feed to these guys, because today we're gonna be adding a new pond fish right inside here that we're gonna go out and catch. So let's get to feeding these puppies. These puppies, these puppies. All right, here we go, we're gonna get to feeding. Oh, we got that one right off the surface. That was Richie Rich, usually typically the first one to come up and eat, but I'm gonna throw a bunch of these heads inside there. I do need to be very careful because the sharks like to come right at my hands. Hey! Hey, buddy, get back down there. There you go. Here comes Marty. Marty looks like he smells that shrimp. He might come out for it, he might not. The panther grouper might come out. Whoa! They better watch out. Oh, they, well, of course, of course they eat it right when they charge me. But here we go, we gotta feed everybody. Let's get Marty some shrimp. Come on. I don't think I can feed the pond without them literally freaking out, charging me. So throwing a bunch of food in there is super fun for me because I get to watch it, but it's very hard for me to film. So, whoa, did you guys just see that? Throw that in there. So I'm gonna go on the feeding stick here with the GoPro underwater. That way you guys can actually see these things eat. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna see if Richie Rich wants a shrimp right here. Come on, boy, turn it around. Oh, the panther grouper came right out and ate that shrimp. Holy crap, he came right off the rocks and sucked that whole shrimp down. We got both the sharks right here. Now, if I can get them on the scent right away, they'll come right up. Like, here we go. Here's, here's Happy Gilmore. Come on, buddy. I just gotta get him to get one whiff. Oh, this is gonna be easy for Richie. Watch this. Woo! Oh! Woo! Woo! Get it, boy! Atta boy! Get on out of here. Now it's really important that we're gonna stuff these fish up because the fish we're gonna go after today is about, I would say, two feet in length, but I wanna make sure nobody's gonna mess with him whatsoever. So let's get Marty some, then I'm gonna throw the rest of the bag in here and we're gonna get on our way. Now I completely forgot about our brand new snowflake eel because I did not buy this guy. Kyle actually put it inside of my pond. He surprised me and I'm gonna see if he'll take a shrimp right now. Come on, come on, you want that shrimp? Come on, buddy. No, he doesn't. He does not want the shrimp and Richie's gonna steal it. Okay, there you go, Richie. He's getting fat, he's getting fat. So, there was a bunch of comments naming the more eel that actually Kyle surprised me with. I came out here, if you haven't checked out the video, go check out my last video, get all caught up. But we're gonna go ahead and name it right now. It's between Olaf and Frosty. So we're gonna go ahead and name him right now. His name is gonna be Olaf the Snowflake Moria Eel. Olaf it is, I loved it, I saw it. I was like, that's such a good idea. Olaf it is, he's not taking any shrimp right now, but that's okay, eventually he will. He's about uh, a week old. We're gonna see if the panther grouper wants to take another shrimp here. 
Oh, that was sick. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. All right, that's enough for the feeding, ladies and gents. I'm gonna get Marty one as he slithers out of the rocks right now. But Olaf's the new name of the eel. I'm pretty stoked. We'll be catching you guys here shortly at the fishing spot. All righty, we're just pulling up to the fishing spot. We're here at the inlet and I've got this container right here. I've got a bag of shrimp, a bucket, and a fishing rod, and the GoPro. We are chasing a needlefish today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're chasing the needlefish. I don't have a cooler, so we're gonna be using this. And uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting when we try to get out of here. So we're gonna see what we can catch today. That hurricane just blew through on the west coast. We were not affected by it whatsoever. But uh, prayers to everyone who was affected. And uh, yeah, let's have a great day today, baby. Let's go catch some fish. Ninety degree incline. Ninety degree incline. First order of business. You guys already know what we got to do. Let's get Tori's purse wet with salt water. No, just kidding. We're gonna dump it in the water. We're in the bucket here. We don't need much water, which is good. These fish are very slender, like myself. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we've made it to the spot here. We're gonna do a little chum action. As you guys can see, we have a ripping current outgoing tide right now there's a bunch of sergeant majors there's a bunch of beautiful fish down there but we're gonna see if we can get anything chummed up maybe some parrot fish maybe some needle fish maybe some snook maybe some tarpon maybe even some snappers i don't even know we're gonna see what we can find today look at this guy coming ripping he's running he just came hauling through the end that's so sick that's dope all right first bait going down let's see what we can catch Come on, let me see some mangroves, maybe. Let me see some snappers. Oh, look at that blue parrot down there. Ooh, that's a nice looking blue parrot. All right, a little bit of a spot change. We moved down just a little bit. There was not much action down there because there was a lot of current. But we're gonna see if along the wall here, we can maybe get lucky. Big snapper down there. There we go. First fish. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, you're kidding me. Hopefully the wind is not that bad, but look at the size of this mangrove. That's like Gus in the pond right now. That is a keeper mangrove snapper all freaking day. That fish has to be 12 to 13 inches all day long. A definite keeper snapper by all means, but this guy is not what we're after today. But look inside that mouth. Look at those fangs. Look at those teeth. That is not what you want to be greeted by. The Britcher show that you hear me talk about a lot, he's actually been bit by one of these guys and they don't let go, you guys. They do not let go. This is the world's luckiest snapper right here, though. 12 incher, about to go back home. Look at this, Richard Shaw, I'm sorry. See you, buddy, lucky. It's that snapper's lucky day. All right, let's keep catching fish. All right, the sun's coming out a little bit, which is great. I'm using some bigger pieces because there's a lot of sergeant majors that are down here that will peck and peck and peck. So if you have a small bait, they're just gonna peck it right off the hook. But I've seen some big pear fish and I've seen a couple hog fish so uh, use a little bigger bait. It can withstand the uh, saltwater piranhas, AKA the Sergeant Majors. We're just going like that, live, or live shrimp, dead shrimp, just like that. Watch this, let's see. These things literally follow the bait. It's not even funny, they're already chewing it, but this, this action brings action. That's what you gotta remember. Come on, if they swim it down, you're, you're golden. You're destined to get something good. Ugh, world's worst fish. World's worst fish, Sergeant Major. Not what we're after, but this is what I was just talking about. Ow, the saltwater piranha, AKA the Sergeant Major. Bye buddy, not on, the, not on the agenda today. Let's go with the big head. Let's get this head down there. We're going with the head. Good luck with this saltwater piranhas. Oh yeah, there's a nice snapper in there too. Now you guys, we just spotted a green moray eel. If you look super close, he's like trying to find my shrimp, but I'm not gonna let him get it. Oh, he's on top of the rock. Look at that. He is looking so hard Ooh, for that shrimp, but you know what, I've already caught so many. Oh, sugar, he had it, he had it. I've already caught so many of these that I don't even really bother with them anymore. But that was so cool, I could not not show you guys that green Oreo right there. Let's see, I'm gonna feed him this piece of shrimp. Ladies and gentle fish, we ended up seeing that cool more eel right there, which is super awesome as we were walking out and heading to a new spot. And we're here now, we're gonna see the other spot, no needlefish. Literally two weeks or a week before, there were so many needlefish there. But today, unfortunately, zero, nada. Couple big snappers though, some jumbos, all right? Some big old snappers, but that's not what we're after today. Today, we're after the needlefish. Let's go find them. Change of spots, ladies and gents. We're at a new spot. This, this place is actually pretty new. They just finished building it, and I only fished here maybe once or twice. Holy cow, look at this. 
serious sandbar here, but we're gonna look for the needlefish. Typically, they're up on top of the water, so shouldn't be too difficult to find. Check out this massive tunnel right here. Oh my God, look at the school of blue parrots. Okay, we gotta get a shrimp. Massive school of blue parrots. Hang on, we were just looking at the tunnel and they literally were swimming out of it. That could be a really freaking good tunnel. Holy crap. Look at those blue parrots. Yeah, they're down there, they're down there. Sink, sink, puppy. No! More freaking, um... What do you call it? Oh, this is a little different. This is a grunt. That's a little bit different of a fish. Not what we're after. I was not expecting to catch a grunt here, though. I was expecting to catch that blue parrot because I didn't see any of these guys around. All right. Listen to him. Say hi. Say cheese, boy. All right. Thanks for playing. We need a needlefish. All right, y'all. We're back at the inlet. We went to the other spot. Literally started pouring rain. As you guys can see, there's still some rain out there. And actually, the lightning alarm just went off, and I'm half underneath the bridge, half out of the bridge. Oh, my God, Tori. Needle. 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 Got him. Perfect size. Perfect size. Oh. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after four spot changes, we finally got our target species, which is a needlefish. Take a look at that guy right there. He actually just bit me not too long ago. This is our target species. Now this one, this one did kind of have that hook far down there, so a little suspect on him. So for the time being, I'm gonna leave him inside of our little container we have, take him home and I'm gonna try and catch another one. And we got one that's hooked perfectly, we're gonna take that one instead of the other. It'll make sense, but it's good to know we got a needlefish for the pond, baby. Let's go. Alrighty, we just caught that one like kind of out deep right there, reeling it across the surface of the water like that. And uh, he came in flying and ate it. So there should be a couple needlefish around here, I'm sure. Sun's about to come out, make it much easier for us to see. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna cast around and see if we can find some more. Come on, come on. Oh my god, we just got one. We just got one. Wait for that shrimp to disappear. It's a perfect size one, too. Oh my god. Shrimp disappeared. No! You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. That was perfect size. He was... Oh, he's right here. 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 He just ate it again. He just ate it again. He just ate it again. Get him. Got him. Perfect. No! No! You're lying. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? How did he come off like that? Oh my God. All right, y'all, we're in the water. We're going to bat a bit of a tad, a different approach. This way we can get the cast a little bit further out there, see if there's any needlefish out lurking in the depths. Oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. One just picked it up. No, he came off. Did you see that? We just had one pick up the bait, go jumping. And then uh, I set the hook and he came right off, but let's see. There's got to be another one out here somewhere. Oh, one just got it. 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 Got him. He's perfect. The baby's perfect. We got one. This one is a little bit, ow. A little bit, ow. This one is bleeding a little bit. For some reason, he was hooked right in the corner of the mouth, so I'm going to let this guy spin. I'm going to let him go home, but that's number two needlefish of the day, ladies and gents. We are in the water during a lightning storm. Here we go. Come on. Talk to me, needlefish. One just picked it up. Perfect. Perfect. This one's beautiful, dude. This is a different type of needlefish, I swear. And he's hooked so perfect. He's hooked so perfectly, but look at how neon he is. He is like neon, dude. That is a weird looking needlefish. I like him though. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. All right, so I think we have two different types of needlefish inside of this bin right here. We have this crazy, beautiful, long, super long snout, long nose with this crazy neon blue lateral line going down its, its side there. And then we have more of, I think, just a common needlefish right here. That's just more, you know, greenish blue in color, silver. Still really cool, but you can tell, like, look at how much shorter that, that nose is. That is ridiculous. We're gonna let this guy go. We're gonna take this guy home with us and I'll be seeing you guys back at the house. Let's go. All right, everybody, we've made it back to the house and this guy put a hole inside of this container here because I can tell there's definitely less water oh, inside of it. There's definitely a hole in this bin. 
But let's go over here, let's get this guy acclimating and into the pond. We've got this guy totally finished up acclimating. I don't know why I still have my GoPro shot. Oh my God. That's like you've been working all day and you just take your shoes off, you kick them off and you get like on the couch. <sighs> yeah, that's nice. Let's take a look at this guy. Super freaking cool looking needlefish. I've only caught a hand few like this, but just obviously he's a little bit dull in color now because he's more stressed out, but what a beautiful looking needlefish. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous right here. We're not gonna wait much longer. Let me get the GoPro out of my pocket and we're gonna get this guy in the water. Here we go, we're gonna get this guy in the water. I'm gonna put him right here. Here you go, buddy. He's in the flow. I'm leaving the flow on here. This way it kind of helps break up the uh, disturbance. I don't want the sharks to really know that there's a new, new creature in here, although he is a very, very good size and the sharks are really, really stuffed. I mean, I put a whole bag of shrimp inside here. So this guy looks super cool. He's swimming around the pond already. That is so freaking cool, look at the needlefish, Tori. I love needlefish, bro. I used to have a needlefish back in the day when I did my very first saltwater pond that I did not do it correctly. And uh, I'm happy to have one back, I can tell you that. I'm super happy to have a needlefish back. It seems like he's gonna be adjusting in here for a little bit. Nobody has literally even came up to him, which is a great sign. Sometimes I do get a little worried with the sharks, but this guy's got good size and he's got a freaking sword coming out of him. I don't think anyone's gonna be uh, dumb enough to mess with him, that is for dang sure. But I hope you all did enjoy today's video. I know Tori and I sure had a good time filming it. Once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out down in the description. I love you all so much. I'll catch you all in that next one. Peace out.